Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, so what have we got for you today? Well, some of you will look at it, you'll recognise the box. Some of you would have read the heading, so you'll know what we've got. But um, this pen came to me from a recent pen haul. And there it is, as you can see there. Okay, and as with all pens, they need restoring, servicing, cleaning, etc, etc. So, yeah, I found a box for this particular pen. So, let's open it up. Let's take the pen from the box. You can see it's got this pink silk lining with the Parker to the very back there. And here's the pen in question it's a lovely Parker 61 this is the heirloom fountain pen and it's the CC version which means cartridge converter now some of you may or may not know the earlier um, Parker 61's came with what we term as a capillary filler and then the later versions uh, and when I say later, we're dating this around about the 1960s. The later versions came, as we've just mentioned, as a cartridge converter fountain pen. Now, it looks a little bit dark, but this one is in lovely burgundy colour. And one thing when I actually showed you it on the pen haul video, what I actually didn't actually notice at the time is that it is actually the heirloom and when I say heirloom I don't know how it can actually come up on the video but okay let's give it a twirl but the heirloom indicates that it's what we term as a rainbow cap so the cap itself is a smooth cap but the heirloom comes with these sort of rose gold um, sort of arches if you like hence the word rainbow cap so it's rose gold and yellow gold cap and obviously as you can see there we've got the standard um, Parker clip quite a long clip there you go and then to the bottom there we've got this grey jewel to the sorry not to the bottom to the top but actually if I hold it at that angle I think you can actually see the sort of the pattern maybe a little bit better so it's got these sort of like arches in pink in pink gold so hence the name heirloom which in some people's eyes they call it the rainbow cap now the rainbow caps actually came I believe in three versions um, they brought out, I think, what they termed as a heritage, which was um, a silver and yellow gold. Okay. They also brought out what they term as a legacy. Now, I've actually got, a, I found this cap in my sort of parts box, if you like. So, this is actually the legacy, and it's what they term as nickel and silver. And again, I don't know how clear it is, but you can see it's got these sort of arches again, hence the rainbow cap. But this one, as I say, is nickel and silver. Now, unfortunately, if you look there, it's got some sort of pitting, etc. So it's in a sad state. I don't think you can actually sort of do anything with that. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this particular cap. Um, maybe I'll even try maybe customising it but I'm not too sure because because of this pitting ok but there you go there's one of the sort of other versions as we say the legacy I'll pop that to the side and then as I say what we've just mentioned is the heirloom which is rose gold and yellow as we showed you before it's got the grey jewel to the end to the end of the barrel there as well which matches the the top of the cap the size of this pen is 131 millimeters capped um, 
slight taper in the barrel as some of you will know but to the top there it's around about 11 millimeters in diameter it's a slip cap which is nice and uh, nice and sturdy there if we show you the pen in numerous, numerous different angles the nice thing about it is as I say these rainbow caps are actually quite sought after the the reason being is the the, the production period was quite short due to sort of the cost of actually manufacturing and um, I think they stopped making them sort of I think it was just second half of the 1960s maybe around about 1967 maybe um, but yeah they were yeah I believe they were sort of expensive to make so there was a short run period and then they stopped making them okay so let's take you up to the section you can see on the 61's it's got this large long section it's got the the inlaid arrow to the very top top of the section there it's a hooded nib as some of you may or may not know and then underneath there we've got the the feed as you can see there okay um, it's a 14 karat gold nib made in England and if I bring it a little bit close you will notice hopefully it's an oblique nib so yeah quite unusual to get an oblique nib on these pens as well so there we go but all in all nice pen nice size comfortable to hold and comfortable to write if I undo the the barrel there you go there's the converter as I said it's a converter it will also accept um, Parker cartridges as well but there you go everything's nice and supple everything's been cleaned internally the collector inside has all been cleaned the feed etc internally and it's ready to go to a new home somebody somebody will enjoy the pen for many years to come now what I'll actually do because as I say it's got an oblique nib um, let's just bring on the ink to my to my right I'm not actually going to um, fill the pen because as I say I've actually cleaned everything internally um, and I'll leave that pleasure to the new owner but what we'll do we'll simply dip it just for a writing a writing sample so we've dipped it there let's give it a little bit of a wipe and let's see how the pen writes so what we've got is a Parker 61 as we said this one's the heirloom and dating the pen from the 1960s let's give it another little bit of a dip let's give it a wipe writing very nicely as we said has this oblique nib and there we have it so just a brief writing sample you can see Parker 61 oblique nib um, writing I would say medium to broad with obviously you know with some line variation to to find so a nice little nib again unusual to find them on these particular pens what we'll do we'll clean the pen after the video uh, before we try and find a new home for it so there we have it Parker 61 cartridge converter this is the heirloom which is the rose gold and yellow patterned rainbow patterned cap in burgundy fully restored ready for a new customer so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy just down below there 
you you people always forget but please give the video a thumbs up um, and it shows that you enjoy the video and helps me basically um, don't forget to subs subscribe as well uh, you won't miss any videos but for me from this lovely pen I'll just say bye bye for now and Slavo Krijini bye bye for now <laughs>